Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over some of my hotkeys in OpenTunes and some of my shortcuts and settings that I like to use. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So let's create a new project and we're just going to put it in OpenTune stuff projects and we're going to call this Andy Acorn. And we're going to append scene path to drawings, append scene path to inputs, and append scene path to extras. Okay. So let's hit OK. So we're just going to use a really simple character that I designed. It's a little acorn character. And let's call this scene rough. Uh, we'll call it acorn rough. <laughs> I always change my mind after I start typing. Okay. And this is going to be a uh, frame rate will be 24 frames a second and resolution 1920 by 1080 and automatically save every 20 minutes and create scene. Okay. So this is my, my layout. So I like to use the combo viewer, which has my toolbars and uh, playback settings down here. And then I like to have a vertical X sheet and uh, I have all of this set up in a custom room and I have another video on how to set up rooms. So if you haven't seen that, like go watch that. That's pretty short. And then also on the X sheet, you can have these little customizable hotkeys up here. And so currently I have new tunes raster level, new raster level, new vector level, auto renumber, reframe on ones, twos, and fours. Uh, time stretch, open sub X sheet, close sub X sheet, and toggle edit in place. Okay. Um, and I have a video on how to set these up as well. And this is pretty short. So I recommend uh, watching that. Uh, so what I like to do is, you know, this, um, a lot of softwares can seem really overwhelming for me. And so I like to keep it as simple as I can and a lot like traditional medium. And so I mainly just use a pencil brush. So right now there's nothing in our columns. Okay. So I'm going to come up here and create a new tune raster level. And we're going to name it rough. And we're just going to hit OK. Hit yes. Okay, and so before we do anything else, let's come up here, double click where it says COL1, column one, and let's rename this R for rough, and just hit enter. So now let's keep it simple, let's create a brush. So I'm gonna come over here to level palette, hit the plus sign, and come down here to the raster tab. And I like to use this 2B pencil right here. And we're going to go to color. We're going to change it to blue. And let's get our brush. Make sure pressure's on. And I'm just going to have the size, let's say 0.19. And I'm just going to start drawing. Let's see if that is a good size. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're just going to do this little acorn dude, Andy, and he's just going to stand here with this uh, smile on his face. He's got this little stem, and we'll just do these little arms that come out like this. We're just going to keep it really simple, okay? Really just kind of loose and simple. Oh, let me show you what he looks like. Uh, here he is. Here's some of the designs I did. Okay. So that's what we're going to animate. And so some of the hotkeys that I use a lot are uh, play, and I have that mapped to S, uh, previous frame, next frame, previous drawing, next drawing, insert frame, remove frame, uh, brush tool, eraser tool, and selection tool. 
and also rotate canvas tool, Alt Q. So those are those are kind of like the main main ones I, I use. But yeah, if you want to pause the video, uh, write these down, take a screenshot, uh, print it out for later. Um, oh, and these are some of the settings. So I like to have you go to scene settings, marker intervals. I set that to eight. So come up here, X sheet, scene settings. Let's change that to eight. And it puts these uh, little grayed out lines every eight frames, which I like. Um, okay, so let me show you how I use some of these hotkeys. So let's say, um, oh, I wish he was um, taller, but just from the waist down. So I will get my arrow, my flexion tool and just lasso and then just drag this down and then click the B for brush and just redraw and then get the eraser tool and erase. And now he's elongated or I'll do the opposite. Like say I want him shorter, So I just switch to the uh, uh, arrow and I have it type, I have it set to freehand. So I can just lasso, you know, the areas I want like that. And then I'll just move him up like this. Hotkey to the eraser tool. And hotkey B back to the brush. So I, I use those a lot, especially during the rough animation phase. You know, just kind of Clean it up a little, go back to the brush, go back to the eraser, go back to the brush, okay, go back to the eraser. And so now, um, oh, Alt Q, that is the rotate tool, and it's up here with the hand with the little arrow, and that lets me rotate so I can follow my wrist, uh, the movement of my wrist more easily, like if I'm trying to create this curve right here, and then I'll rotate him around to get this curve, and then keep rotating. Just makes it really nice. And then if I get too out of whack, I come up here and do re reset rotate. And so if you need to change your hotkeys or set them up, you can come up here to file, configure shortcuts, and I just search for the thing I need. So like a uh, drawing, and see previous drawing Z and next drawing C and play. If it's if it's some action I do a lot, a, a lot of times I'll take a note and then I'll come in here and try to find it. And so you can save out your shortcuts. And if you install a new version of OpenTunes or uh, accidentally mess them up, you can um, reload them. And that sheet that I showed you earlier, I'll have this open uh, in a separate window or off to the side, just so I kind of remember where my hotkeys are. And the hardware I'm using is a, a Wacom Cintiq 22HD. And I also use a G13 gaming pad, which I'm not sure if these are still for sale. You could probably find something uh, cheaper that's just as good, but it's really easy to set up. Uh, it has a really nice interface um, that looks like it looks just like the gaming pad. And basically, you tell it which software you want to set up your hotkeys. And then uh, you just pick a button. So, for example, I come in here and I want this button to be play. I just click it, assign new command, and I Come up here and do my hotkey S and I name it play and hit OK. And now my hotkey on here, G11, is set up to be play. And I also like to use Krita. And so I'll set up Krita hotkeys as close to OpenTunes as I can. That way, when I'm switching software, I don't have to search for, you know, what hotkeys to use. B is still brush and E is still eraser and 
uh, the selection tool is still the same. So, uh, and zoom in and zoom out are the same. Okay, so let's, let's switch back to our brush tool and let's get into some animation. So I'm gonna hit hotkey W, insert frame, and that will hold this first drawing for two frames, okay? And so I'll go to frame two and let's just start drawing. So maybe he, um, I don't know, maybe he kind of bends forward like this. Okay. And his eyes are closed. And he's like, I don't know, maybe he's gonna jump. Okay, and so now I'm gonna do um, previous drawing and next drawing. So I'm gonna flip between the two drawings so I can see how it's looking, okay? squashing down okay maybe this hand so see I'm just going eraser brush eraser brush and flipping flip flipping back and forth drawing to drawing and so no matter where this drawing is on the timeline I can I'll flip between them so like if I go to frame one and hit W and push this drawing all the way down to like say frame 24 okay uh i still want to flip drawing to drawing and then if i do hotkeys a and d that will go frame to frame so let's go frame to frame so i'm on frame one and now two, three, four, five. I go back up nine, eight, and sometimes you want that. Um, but for the most part, I just flip drawing to drawing. He's gonna come down, and let's hit W, insert some frames. I'm not sure about timing yet. I just want to get my drawings in. So let's go to frame thirty-one, and I don't know. Let's have him do like. He's very acrobatic. Let's have him do like a a wee. Like, can do this backflip. Cause he's awesome. Maybe this. Maybe this little stem drags. Maybe his hands are out like this. His little feet are coming down. He's gotten really big, so I'm gonna scale him down. Move him up here. Okay, I think he's gotten too small. Whee! So he's gonna do a backflip and we could turn on onion skinning but if I did that at this stage I would take out all of these frames just work on ones that way I can just turn on onion skinning like this and just see where I'm at so if I go to frame two he's anticipating down and then boing he's jumping up And then insert uh, a blank keyframe, W, and let's just start drawing. Maybe he's... Flipping around like this. And remember, he's an acorn. A acorns are very athletic. You know, just from living in trees and then falling to the ground, they know what's up. Okay. I 
That's his feet. And maybe this foot. Let's have it start coming forward first. Yeah. And then this. I don't want that stem to be so floppy. I'm going to do it like that. So I'm just flipping. So now I'm just flipping frame to frame. Uh, if we wanted to do this on twos and hold each drawing for two, I'm just going to go to each frame and hit W and Q to take out a frame. Okay, so now each one's held for two. And so now I'm flipping drawing to drawing. Okay. One to two, two to three, three to four. And but I'm still working the exact same way. Just getting my drawings in here. This is him coming up like Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Excited. Okay. And so now, see how our drawings are one, two, three, four, five? Well, I want them to match our frames. So I'm going to click this little edge over here and do auto renumber. So now one and one, three and three, five and five, seven and seven, nine and nine. Okay, let's scoot him over. Okay, so now we we can go in, we could set our onion skinning on twos like this. So now we can flip and see. Okay. Yay. And like he's way over to the left, so let's let's move him over here. And turn on end skinning, and we get this anticipation down like this, and then whee, he's gonna jump up. I don't want him to go off screen yet. And he's right here. So let's compare this last drawing to our first one. So if we come over here to the far edge, we can click and create an onion skin where we can see our first drawing, no matter what frame we're on. And that's pretty cool. See, no matter what frame I'm on, I see that first drawing right here of him standing. Okay. Now we could go in, add some in-betweens, uh, and do all that jazz. Okay, so that's some of the hotkeys I use and the settings for my open tunes. Uh, as always, happy animating, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.